Good evening, or whatever time you're watching this, and hello, explorers, and welcome back to another adventure vlog. I hope you're all having a great day today. I know I am for sure. Currently, it is 4.40 in the evening on uh, September 5th of 2022, and now I'm about to head all the way down Route 7 and turn right on Route 15 until I get all the way down there to the Big Ugly Community Center and the town of uh, Owl Col in Big Creek, West Virginia, and stuff like that. It's like a ginormous uh, wildlife management area. There's a ton of different roads in the forest, but I am going to try my absolute best to drive through the abandoned quarry section. <laughs> I don't really know the specific name for it. I just know it's a pretty darn massive old like rock quarry where they do surface mining or something. There's a pretty rundown church behind me right now up on kind of a slope and the main road route 10 is back there. I passed the town of uh, Chapmanville and the, at the end of the last video. So I hope you uh, are going to enjoy this video today. I think uh, you, you definitely will for sure. So <laughs> the following footage is going to be pretty awesome, especially the background song. I'm gonna go, gonna put in it and uh yeah i think it gets dark at about eight o'clock so I, th I think that's in like three hours or something so i'm gonna have to do the best i can to you know not get stuck back here or anything and then after the quarry you're gonna see mud river recreation area i think i only looked at it on google maps a couple of times and it looks pretty cool <laughs> it looks a lot of fun it's just sprinkling a little bit right now the sun's coming out and i guess i'll just stop delaying and please come along for the ride by hitting that subscribe button and if you want to learn more about me and the type of van that I live in, just check out the description down below. So, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and head up this road now. Holy freaking crap, dude. Look at my van. I'm definitely living the van life now, buddy. I'm straight up off-roading slash overlanding. Look at all that stuff on the side. <laughs> That's insane. This thing is completely covered with mud. But look what's the most hilarious. I just now noticed this. I haven't even looked at the back of my van yet. My bumper that I paint painted so is still perfectly clean. <laughs> How is that even possible? Anyway, I don't know if you can tell, but the sun is trying to come out back there. It's pretty cloudy up in front of me. It's about a mile walk all the way up here to the top. And I really don't know how much of that dash cam footage that I just included, but I was this close, literally like that close. I don't even know how close, extremely close, really. I probably had like one freaking micro atom second to getting my van permanently stuck back there. That was insane, dude. Thank the Lord I actually got out of there because that was very sketchy. I felt like whistling diesel on YouTube. <laughs> Which is freaking hilarious. Uh, I guess I'll insert a little like screenshot from one of those clips. Look at my facial expression. And I don't have any service down here to find Whistling Diesel's facial expression, but he goes mudding all the time in his uh, dad's old farm <laughs> way up there in Indiana. And oh my god. Oh god. Look at this shit. <laughs> Sorry, I had to bleed that out. Look at the side of my van. Somehow, I put a dent in my van. <laughs> Oh lord. Well, what can you do, right? There ain't nothing I can freaking do. Anyway, I'm just gonna go up here to the top and uh, check out this little quarry. And to continue this video to the next day, I'm gonna backtrack out of here. Go down there to a uh, Mud River Recreation Area. Hopefully I can actually turn around here and park here for the night. Uh, I may not actually park here. I might just, uh, before dark or something, try to like get out of here or go down there to the first car wash I see. Get my van super clean and just park down there somewhere in town. <laughs> because this is way too much. It's almost 6 o'clock, so I gotta book it up here pretty quick and hopefully the rain stops so I can fly my drone. I'm just gonna go up to the top of this quarry because it's so darn massive that I mean once you've really seen the drone footage you've seen it all but uh I can't believe that dude seriously. What a dent in the side of my van. I don't know what I hit but uh yeah if you're interested the first video of this trip I mentioned that I created uh, a playlist here on my YouTube channel called Top 100 Whistle and Diesel Videos. I'll put it in the link down below as well in this video but uh god man look at that. Man I love my van so much I've been trying to keep it like clean and maintained and everything but well there you go 
now it's a freaking mess. <laughs> anyway, two no trespassing signs back there, so I ain't staying here. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go up here. To look at all these red and purple little flowers and stuff. Uh, just gonna have to deal with sweating my butt off and everything. Thankfully, the rain is uh, getting rid of all the gnats and crap, so I don't have to deal with all that stuff ever again. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> I might have to be dealing with the gnats, I don't know, tomorrow or the next day, but yeah, it's just something I have to put up with. <laughs> oh, my goodness, dude. What a freaking excursion. Keep on watching because this place is like a Stotesbury 2.0, but a billion times worse, too. All right, here's a little bit of a closer view of what I was dealing with up here. There's two puddles, and uh, I managed to get through the first one, but not the second one because it was too steep, and I didn't feel like bombing it all the way up the freaking road and messing something up. Uh, if you don't know, you know, your van starts to, like, make some weird smells and stuff. It starts to smell a bit weird. You're, like, burning your transmission pretty much <laughs> when you do that much uh stuff to it so i don't recommend doing that i will never be doing that ever again in my life <laughs> the only time i would ever be doing that if i had thirty thousand dollars and six months to wait for a toyota hilux <laughs> the world's most indestructible truck but i don't feel like dealing with that too. i don't have anywhere to put it on mom's driveway is already uh packed it is as it is looks like a car lot and i don't feel like spending the freaking tens of thousands of dollars for land <laughs> even though that would be cool out here but not this place <laughs> place seems like it uh just washes out it gets destroyed way too often and i mean i'm christian so like i don't want to add anything else to my life and more stress and stuff so i'd rather just keep things simple and uh you know, you know trust in the lord and everything and have to find like the best way to get around all of this here we go and i think i'm gonna just cut the b-roll right now and i don't really know how the background song is gonna go but you know you probably already saw it <laughs> so yeah here's the hill I'm running out of space on my phone so i'm just gonna cut through real quick <laughs> but look at that dude oh my goodness this looks insane oh my goodness this is bad seriously look how messed up this road is dude this is insane this is extremely deep literally i can like squat down here in this ditch to give you the best angle i possibly can look at that you really can't tell <laughs> but that's insane dude uh, this is about level right here yep <laughs> I was thinking that down there halfway kind of in between where it pretty much is level perfectly or it evens out would have been possible to, to drive up this if it wouldn't got up that initial deal but nope <laughs> got all this stuff here this spot right here specifically has to be at least a foot yeah ain't no one driving up this thing <laughs> I don't think anyone's been up here in a long freaking time except for dune buggies and uh four wheelers and stuff I did see one I uh, think dune buggy like they're on the paved road but uh just gonna keep on going this is truly a workout dude this is truly Really something else my goodness all right i think i'm almost there well i can't see how i look right now because i'm using my back camera but uh i think i look pretty darn disgusting and sweaty but check this out i just came to a crossroads there's a ginormous puddle here i'm gonna have to go around this massive tree looks pretty darn freaking dilapidated and old and you know destroyed down here but it's still alive still looking pretty good <laughs> there's where i came from and here's the other little i don't know road pathway or something as you can tell it's also completely freaking done for don't know what's up there i don't feel like going up there's really would just be a waste of time so <laughs> the right direction is actually this way <laughs> so i'm just gonna try my best not to get my shoes completely freaking destroyed there we go success on that <laughs> i don't know what the heck i'm saying right now <laughs> i'm about to walk through another freaking spider web just gonna go ahead and go around it like this there we go. <laughs> There's a kind of like a steep cliff right there. There's a little twig just chilling. Gotta go underneath of these branches too. And I think just around this corner are some power lines and then it opens up. <laughs> Hopefully when I got it here in the open, it's not raining or anything and I can fly my drone. Uh, I've flown it before in like barely sprinkles and it didn't do anything to it. So I don't know. I guess I'll just see how it looks. It's like less than two hours until dark and it didn't bring my flashlight with me. With me i only have the light on my phone so yeah i have to make this quick <laughs> but look at this thing it's freaking cool back here dude it'll be even nicer if it wasn't sweating so much
goodness, check this out. I'm currently holding my umbrella just in case it comes a downpour. The clouds up there are stupidly dark. They're not too dark. I don't think it's going to rain. I just checked the weather for this multi-town area, and uh, it's mostly cloudy, so there wasn't any rain in the forecast or anything, so that's good. But uh, I didn't film it, but I just trekked through all that stuff over there to my right. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> It wasn't too bad. It's not the worst thing. It's actually pretty darn easy, <laughs> to be honest. There's lots of little uh, rocky clearings throughout this place. There's like, you know, not much of this overgrown stuff at all. It's pretty nice and chill and everything. I might want to have a picnic up there. If it's uh, not too hot, this would be a perfect day to do that. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's a little bit too cloudy to do that, but still cool. Nonetheless, you can come up here and do whatever adventure stuff you want, I guess. <laughs> Apparently you can. Uh, people do live back here, but way back in the bush somewhere. <laughs> There's multiple little cemeteries. There was some guy up there. I don't know if he's still up there, but he's looking for his two beagle dogs. I actually found one back there. I don't know where the heck it is now, but uh, it found me. It was pretty freaking funny. And I'm going to have to get around this Strinomer's Pond because that's basically what this thing is. Look how huge this puddle is, dude. It's freaking crazy. All right, here we go. Let's get around this stupid freaking thing. And I got to go all the way up here. To the top of this uh i don't know this one little section i think it's the main section of this quarry i don't think they use it anymore because i think the satellite view on google maps is probably a, at least a couple years old it was a lot more open and you know usable and stuff back then so yeah i guess they don't use it anymore somewhere back there on the trail where you just saw that footage i saw like a yellow dump truck or something way in the distance but i don't feel like going over there most likely there's a cop web. <laughs> Most likely, you'll be able to see the potential silo if it's still over there in the footage. So, yeah, I just gotta get up here to the very top where I have the best amount of line of sight and connection. Because I don't want to have to lose my drone back here or do anything stupid. <laughs> but yeah, check this out, man. This is freaking awesome. It's getting dark. I think it's almost 7 o'clock. So I'm gonna have to hurry up here. Another spider web. How was that for a video? I am so beyond blessed to almighty God that I was actually able to make the brutal hike all the way up here in the middle of freaking nowhere to this quarry and fly my drone. Those drone shots were absolutely amazing. Also included some of the little audio to those little small birds up there in the trees. I don't know if you heard that with the uh, mix of the little background song. It was pretty freaking awesome. And this video is not even over yet. But guess what? I am one infinite percentile officially making the decision to keep the title of this video the way it is. And that's obviously driving through an abandoned West Virginia quarry to Mud River Recreation Area. And in the text in the thumbnail, you probably already saw that too, I am going to put introducing Stiltsbury 2.0. This was insane. With a little exclamation point. <laughs> this was freaking crazy, dude. Check this out. <laughs> 
This is so freaking awesome. I'm not really too sure which picture I'm gonna use for the thumbnail. Uh, I don't really remember the one looking some other direction, but I know obviously the one is probably gonna use that one. It's looking this way, I flew it like back there. You know, I wanted to get this big cliff thing in the frame too. And I'm pretty sure this is the highest point in this entire area. So, gotta go ahead and make the truck out of here, but first I want to give you a quick little view. I actually managed to spot the silos way over there in the distance. Look how cool that is. There's little silos. And if you see that, uh, those two white rocks down there, way down here at the very bottom, they're like the brightest colored or something. Just around that corner, around this little dirt hill, is the trail that I took to get up here. So, I'm gonna have to get off this big mountain first by going that way and not step in that puddle pretty steep around on the other side but i'll definitely make it and then there's a gravel road somewhere down there going way the heck over that way behind that uh little dirt mound there's one going that way over to i think it's called uh hobbit 21 or something it's like a little water treatment place and literally like right next to it is some houses and like i mentioned earlier if i would have been able to get my van up here it's a possibility that i might have been able to like drive that way i don't see any puddles down there but i'm glad i uh bailed out you know at the last minute <laughs> perfect timing wasn't it <laughs> then there's some kind of a little wooden post sticking out of the ground down there i don't know what it used to be used for and then there's all the fog and everything else it's pretty sweet there's a bunch of a uh, little yellow flowers of some sort on top of here and guess what you're never gonna believe it might sound a little bit crazy <laughs> don't want to freak you out or anything i just want you to keep watching because well this video's not over yet <laughs> this place feels 100 percent like god's thumb from the uh Oles movie way back in the day in 2003 starring shia labeouf <laughs> Remember they climbed up a big cliff way out in the desert? <laughs> That was pretty freaking awesome, dude. It's like a little oasis up here. See, that's a little pond that they were on. <laughs> and they ate little onions. That's the sweetest onion I've ever tasted. <laughs> it's not the exact place, but uh, it feels a lot like it. And there's the moon just chilling up there, way up there in the sky. Like, I don't even know how far away. Millions of miles or whatever. <laughs> and then there's a cell phone tower way over there in the distance. Uh, I think it might be hidden from all the fog, but it's over there. <laughs> anyway, gonna have to make the long trek all the way back to my van in the dark. And hope the guy my van is still sitting down there and i can turn around and go down there to a town and park next to a car wash <laughs> somewhere so i can actually wake up in the morning and go straight in there <laughs> this is gonna be a freaking excursion i think i might have just enough daylight to get down here to the woods of where i uh went through and then i'll probably have to use the light on my phone and plug my phone into my little portable little battery that i have in my pocket so yeah here we go but what i also wanted to say it is extremely quiet up here and you know want to know what would be perfect if i had a hammock <laughs> seriously if i had like 200 bucks for a good quality hammock i would literally walk around there and not get wet walk up the easiest little slope back in there in the woods string it up to two perfect trees and relax at the spot dude this would be so freaking nice man maybe i'll come back here maybe i won't probably won't <laughs> because there's really nowhere to park and technically where my van down here is parked right now it's obviously no trespassing <laughs> Like you saw earlier, those two signs. But uh, yeah, my phone's currently dying. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get to this. Look at all that fall. That is freaking majestic. Oh my goodness. Here we go. You guys can't see absolutely nothing right now besides these little tree limbs. But I am currently walking down this little forest road and it is extremely dark. There's a tree. I'm gonna have to get super up close to it because, well, the LED light on my iPhone, well, it's an iPhone, so <laughs> it's extremely dark. It really doesn't light up anything. Can't even see like a foot in front of your face. <laughs> Here's some kind of old sign on this tree. Don't know what the heck it is. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep on going. Pretty wet down here. <laughs> Already showed this uh, spot down here earlier so just gonna put my uh, phone away or whatever put the little standard little light back on and stop recording but uh <laughs> yeah this is creepy dude but i'm not scared i'm more scared of a person being back here than anything else <laughs> so you're not gonna be able to see me right now but as i got down to the end of that trail some uh, people were out there and i wasn't supposed to be parked there so i was standing around for probably a good like half an hour they were waiting for the law to come but they never showed up <laughs> so you know they just i don't know let me go or whatever they showed a little picture on their phone of an escaped convict from Virginia. So, and they said that it looked nothing like me. But I don't know why that truck was following me the entire way all the way down here to Car Wash. And I think it's just outside of Chapmanville, West Virginia. So, I'm just going to park here for the night. It's almost 10.30 in the evening right now. Just going to, I don't know, transfer these clips, do as much as I possibly can before midnight. And then grab a little something to eat that I still have. A little, you know, pinwheel chicken little wrap thing. And then get some sleep because that was 
was a little bit sketchy. But anyway, here's a little view. My windows are fogged up again. I had to run the little windshield wiper the entire time driving because, well, I guess I was driving through condensation. Here's this other little car wash with the little vacuum there. So in the morning, which I'll probably end up filming it, I'll be going just on the other side of that brick wall through the car wash. And hopefully I can actually put my uh, debit card in there and then I can get all this mud off of here because it's pretty disgusting. But anyway, I don't know what you're going to see next, but I guess that's it for now. I think you're really going to enjoy the main place back there, so keep watching. Alright then, everything looks good as new. Check out how clean my van is now. <laughs> This looks so freaking good. A little bit of the paint come off the side down here, but nonetheless, it's freaking awesome. Basically just swipe your little card here on the side or put in change or cash or whatever and turn this knob after you do your payment. <laughs> it's super cool. Probably gonna have to touch up a little spots here in my bumper with that extra silver spray paint that I have. Anyway, I feel like getting into my side door. Uh, I mean, driver's side door. <laughs> Gotta get the little spot right there before I head out. And uh, that's basically it. <laughs> This is a cool little spot here. Look at that. There's a uh, family dollar and a little dollar tree over there on the other side of the train tracks. video has literally been all over the place and it's definitely going down in history books for sure. I'm surprised I haven't even got a flight. As I was going down the road, my oil, it came on for about 10 seconds as a solid color and then it went back off and then when I, I turned off my man and I started back up to get up here to this other section of the park, it came on and stayed on for about 20 seconds, the same solid color. Back in February, it would just blink a couple of times, but that's because I had a little oil leak in the uh, oil cooler little gasket thing and obviously I got that fixed, so I don't know what the the heck the deal is with this thing it's a little bit weird <laughs> i really want to go through that crap again <laughs> maybe the bolt's a little bit loose but i'm not worried about it or anything and uh yeah looks pretty good you know everything's going so well so far <laughs> i just hope it don't break down or anything luckily i'm not losing any oil i didn't see any under there i did you know fix the little spots <laughs> in my bumper like i mentioned earlier and yeah it's a pretty simple little place here's a little uh, picnic shelter up here with picnic tables literally everywhere insane how many there are I hope you just enjoy that uh, footage of my drive all the way down here and especially the beach section down there that they're about to close <laughs> for whatever reason and like always i don't know why i'm the only person here <laughs> why isn't this place packed <laughs> i guess it's because it's a weekday or something but yeah there's the shelter the uh baseball field is up that way the little restroom and uh volleyball goal thing or whatever my van looks super good in that little spot the exit is just out there and the road were absolutely freaking destroyed basically you know except for that one paved part that you probably saw in the footage yeah the roads do like seriously they're so freaking bad <laughs> it's insane i don't even know why the heck they uh fill in the potholes and it really makes it worse <laughs> but this shelter looks nice look how tall it is 
there's little like cross beams or something. I guess that's how they hold it up. And these little wooden beams are just sitting on all these concrete posts. There's a little playground over here. And then right here in the center is your good old little uh, cooking area. And there's swings over there. And I would like to swim down there at the beach. But I don't think I can go down there anymore. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll come back in the future and swim there when this place is, I don't know, where people are here or whatever. But yeah, I don't know why they're closing. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> the grass is freaking soaked <laughs> a little bit. But uh yeah nonetheless it's a fun place i highly recommend coming i think you'll have a super great time anyway i guess i'm just gonna hop in my van and uh edit this video and then i don't know what else i'm doing maybe i'll just wrap things up pretty soon because this video really is already long enough <laughs> check out how cool this view is look at this this is awesome dude <laughs> i'm just chilling up here in this little stage platform thing the baseball field is i don't know what all this trash is just chilling right here on the side there's a door that goes into something i don't know what's in there there was a little air conditioner thing in the window on the back where that little uh pay for the little parking spot is over there it's kind of cool looking the side of this uh stage is kind of falling apart <laughs> look at that dude it's like collapsing and everything that's insane like what <laughs> there's three little uh actually four little picnic tables is over there with three uh posts sticking out of the ground for outlets and uh yeah i guess the little park people were leaving you now just chilling the blue sky up there which is super sweet finally the weather's clearing up but it's super hot i'm gonna have to stay in the shade as much as possible and i guess i'm not really doing anything else today i'm pretty much at my limits when it comes to uh i don't know issues and whatnot <laughs> freaking van dude like i don't know why in the frick i went up that freaking stupid muddy freaking road and got stuck <laughs> anyway i guess i'll go ahead and uh wrap up this video right here uh, i hope you enjoyed well i guess back here might be a little bit of a better view with this big black wall in the background <laughs> anyway like always please remember to like comment and subscribe may god bless you and all living creatures thanks for watching and i'll talk to you in the next adventure